for, for Carolina in terms of, you know, th what they're going through offensively and having, you know, fired their offensive coordinator. Mm -hmm. I know it's week 14, so you don't think that they change everything. But yeah. kind of how do you mentally prepare for that? Yeah, like you said, I mean, at, at this point in week 14, you can't expect – um, change everything, but they are um, personnel-wise going into this Sunday. It's going to be a lot different than what we seen in the first game. Uh, brought back uh, Cam Newton, dynamic player. Um, they had McCaffrey back, then lost him again, unfortunately. But they had some good running backs that did some good work against us the first time, you know. But at the end of the court, at the end of the day, they want to be a physical team. I think um, even though it's going to be different faces, um, you know, for the most. I don't know for the most part, but some some places I think the mantra what what they want to um, be about as far as being physical up front, running the ball, uh, making big plays in the pass game is going you know stand true. So we got to be ready regardless. However, you know they want to call plays or whatever players go out there, we got to make sure that we ready and prepared because um, I don't have no doubt in my mind that they'll be ready to play regardless of how they whatever they want to do. It was interesting when we were talking to Dean that he was talking about he's like you know when you are in this long as I am, he kind of said. <laughs> You see that when you play teams again, they almost essentially kind of challenge you. Like the things that you that didn't work out the first time, did you fix it mm -hmm. on the second time? And he was like, so we fully believe and we fully expect the run. Yeah. So, I mean, when you kind of think about it in that way, how important is stopping the run? I mean, yeah, it's, it's important. It's um, very important that you're not sitting playing, you know, second and shorts all day, you know, third and short, because it makes our play calling, you know, so much smaller because it's limited more opportunities, whether it's to rush or run blitzes, whatever it may be, or, you know, make it a, a game where they got to put the ball in the quarterback hands or whatever it may be. Um, so you never want teams to run on you. And as a defensive lineman, that's always the worst thing, something that we always take pride in as far as not letting teams go uh, run all over us and stuff. So definitely, and, and in division play, you know, like, you know, you played it every team twice, so they definitely going to challenge you in the things you struggled with in the first game. And we just got to be ready to answer. And however that may look, um, we got to be be ready to answer. And Greg, you know, every game is important, but when you look at the fact that it's been a couple of years since you guys have been in contention, this deep in the season for mm -hmm. a possible playoff spot, you've got new players, young players. What's kind of the motivation, or as one of the leaders of the team, what's kind of your philosophy of letting them know, hey guys, yes, every game is important, but these are really important because we're still in the hunt. Yeah, without a doubt, being in the hunt is a good place to be. Um, you know, like you like you mentioned, it has has been a while. And you know, even though we're here five and seven, we still got five games um, to put put ourselves in position to play. You know, to play for it all. So I mean, it's just certain moments you can't take it for granted. You know, what I'm saying I've been on this team to where, you know, we started off five and zero oh, my rookie year, didn't make the playoffs. You know, we started struggling a little bit my second year. You know, made it to the Super Bowl and uh, lost the Super Bowl. So still haven't been back there. You know, the following year. We was the only NFC NFC team to go back, back to back playoffs, you know. So that's show you how hard it is for other teams to make it back to the playoffs. And then since then, you know, we've been struggling a little bit um, to get back, get back in that hunt. And uh, so you can't take moments like this for granted, you know what I'm saying? And uh, anything that happened before, you got to take it as a um, lesson and not a loss, especially when you're in a position like this to try to put your best foot forward. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, you do that, you'll be good. You won't have no regrets at the end of the season if you know you fought your tail off. But if you get to the end of the season, like, dang, we wasn't prepared. We already counted ourselves out. This ain't going to happen for me. This ain't going to happen this and this and that. You already lost. You know what I'm saying? You're going you're going to a whole other offseason with a whole different mindset. You know what I'm saying? So you definitely want to go down and put your best foot forward. And um, I know that's what I'm going to do on a personal level. And I hopefully, you know, my teammates follow. And I'm sure and confident that we will. And we're going to put our best foot forward because we know what's out there for us. And one more question for you. I talked to you about this earlier in the season when Marlon Davidson was just kind of trending up mm -hmm. out, you know, coming off this offseason where the injuries are going away, mm -hmm. you know, COVID situation is behind him. See what he did in the game last yep. week. What can you say just about his progress and you being able to, as, again, a leader, mm -hmm. to see him moving into what we all thought he could be? Man, you know, uh, that play happened, you know what I'm saying? And he got the interception. I just, I ran him celebrating. I'm running to him and halfway getting there to him, like, damn, they done threw this to the wrong person. Because <laughs> he boy about to come out here cutting up, smiling, joking. <laughs> but he, he ain't stopped yet. So, no, that was a uh, that was an amazing play. And it uh, could happen to a better dude, man. And um, they've been working, overcoming. And um, I think I continuously tell them this. I t tell, tell you guys this. 
I feel like the best football is ahead for him, you know, as to continue to get better and find a role and uh, find a role to dominate. And I think um, the more play time he get, the more years come and, and go and days of work put in and being, like you say, being healthy and uh, just having an opportunity and consistency, he, he gonna continue to get better as he have been. So um, when he had opportunities in there, he's shining. So he playing hard, giving all he's got. So I definitely, like I say, it's, it's the best. It's definitely yet to come for Marlon. It's funny you say that because I literally had to run over to State Farm mm -hmm. and cover the Hawks. And I was like picking up and I was like, is that Marlon? Yeah. 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 And I literally yeah. sat there graded to watch the replay. Yeah. 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 You, do. you, get, yeah. Excited you get real excited. excited. No, nah, that was out sweet. Put us in good positions going to halftime, you know, like 17, 20. And right there, with the, you know, we're going to learn from that. You know what I'm saying? Capitalize on that coming out. So uh, we was in position, man. This is against the world champs. Obviously, very talented roster. We just played in the Bucks. So um, I don't like. Like we, we 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 was definitely competitive against them. Some things we definitely could have done better on both sides of the ball, but um, Marlon put us in the position at, at halftime to to be able to win that game. How much has he talked about it since? I mean, you said that he. he oh, he just walking around, a little smirk on his face, like <laughs> the, little his little bird chest, walking with his little chest out. You know what I'm saying? So. Don't worry, I can't cave that chest in real quick. He get a little too high, so you know what I'm saying? Got to bring him back down. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Extremely motivated. You know, extremely motivated guy. Um, you know, he playing like got something to prove. Which he, you know, what I'm saying, been played Cam for for years, and um, you know, he him being back in that Carolina blue just is just fitting. You know, what I'm saying it look. You know, so I mean, they, they they the team love him, the city love him. So he gonna put his best foot forward every time he step on that field. You know what I'm saying? I know as a competitor, um, it don't get you know much competitive. Guy got you know ultimate confidence in himself. So every time you take take the field against him, you gotta be ready. You know what I'm saying? Because he gonna be ready. And um, so uh, you know, I ain't got nothing but respect for Cam. And 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 you know, as a as a just a athlete and professional sports I'm happy to see him get another chance and be able to prove himself but as a competitor you know definitely um you know want to put my best foot forward and our best foot forward against him so um so so I mean I no doubt that he's gonna be ready okay. Thank you, Thank you. Yep.